everyone. Um, it is Tuesday morning, and I wanted to do a quick update about my how my doctor's appointment yesterday went. And um, it went it went really well. Like we're not really doing much of anything differently. My doctor was thrilled that um, I'm doing better as far as needing my IV fluids. Um, I mean, she was she was pretty shocked um, because you know I've never been able to um, consistently, you know, not do them every day. So I think we're both a little bit like, okay, you know, what's going on? Um, but she was, you know, really glad that I'm feeling so much better overall. Um, well, not necessarily overall, but like, as far as that I don't need the fluids, that like, I don't need to use my shower chair anymore, which is crazy. Um, and so yeah, so she was really happy about that. Um, for now, we're not changing how my fluids come. I'm still going to get the two liter refrigerated bag with the amino acids and everything in it. Um, just because she doesn't want to go playing around with that right now. I mean, if she said if I want her to change the prescription, she will. But, um, like, for right now, just to try to keep it the way that it is, and um, that she would rather have me go more days between needing fluids than reduce the amount that I'm getting. Um, so, which would have been one of the reasons for changing the prescription, because I would have gotten one liter bags um, that wouldn't have needed to be refrigerated, and then I could have just done, you know, one or two liters as needed. But, um... For now, we're just going to keep it the way it is, um, which is fine. I mean, it's it's still, like, so I get now, now I get only get one shipment a week. And actually, there's one coming this morning, so hopefully I won't interrupt this. Um, you get one shipment a week of, like, three or four bags, um, depending on how many I ask for. And, um, and my glutathione and everything. So there's not as much to keep in the fridge as... There has been in the past um, when I've been doing them every day, but um, you know, it's still we have a separate mini fridge for my fluids and, and stuff, and it also ends up just being overflow from the regular fridge. Um, so yeah, um, and we're not changing antibiotics that I'm on or anything um, because I mean, basically, I'm on one oral antibiotic right now, which is a pregnancy safe antibiotic that I'll be on, you know, through the, most likely I will be on this one through the course of a pregnancy whenever that happens. Um, and then once I am actually pregnant, then we'll add in Mepron. Um, but you know, we're not, we're not really actively treating anything right now. And um, so that's good, and I'm getting off of the Neurontin, too, um, she was supportive of that, and, and again, surprised that, like, I've been able to get off of a number of medications, and not really be much worse because of it, um, I got off the Topamax, I'm getting off the Neurontin, I've stopped taking some of my supplements, like, I'm not taking melatonin anymore to help sleep, um, I mean, there's a number of things that I've stopped taking, and, um, like, it's surprising that I'm able to sleep as well as I am. I don't sleep well, and I don't wake up refreshed or anything, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to sleep, and it's, it's kind of surprising. So, um, yeah, which is encouraging. Like, that's really good. I'm going to continue to try to get off of medications, even ones that are safe for pregnancy. Um... You know, I want to try to get off of as many as I can and see see how I do. So that's good. Um, let's see. I don't think there's really much else. Um, it was a pretty quick appointment. Um, like, possibly the fastest regular appointment I've had with her. Like, I've had emergency appointments before that were relatively fast. But um, this was, you know, I don't even know. 20 minutes maybe total, um, and yeah, so that's, that's pretty much what's going on, um, 
she's just really happy that things are going so well. I'm not going back for three months, which is crazy. Um, like the, I, I used to go every month and then I went to like every six weeks and then it was every two months and now it's, now I'm going in three months. So I'm not going back till November, um, which is crazy, but it makes sense because we're not actively treating. So unless I have an issue that comes up, you know, it, there's no need to, for me to be going back frequently. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's it. I had a really long day yesterday, um, cause I had my doctor's appointment in the early afternoon at two, so I had to leave at one to go to that, and then, um, had the appointment, and then had to find stuff to do for the, most of the rest of the afternoon, and then went and picked Eric up at work, and we went and had, um, couples counseling. So, or I suppose at this point it could be considered marriage counseling. When we started it, we weren't married, so it was couples counseling. But I suppose now it could be marriage counseling. But, um, and then we went out to dinner afterwards, and I wasn't feeling very well at that point. So, um, like my, my stomach, not exactly my stomach, I was having abdominal pain. Um, and that was not very much fun. But, um, yeah, so we didn't get home until like 8, and it was just a long day. And, um, I'm kind of feeling the effects of that today. I'm really dragging and, um, having, having more dysautonomia issues today, which of course, I mean, yesterday I didn't do fluids, so it makes some sense that I would be having more issues today. So I'm accessed and hooked up now. Um, it's not even, it's like just after 9.30 in the morning. So like I've gotten up, showered, accessed, and I'm hooked up, um, which is faster than it usually happens, but, um, I really needed it, so, that's, that's it, um, the garden's doing well, the indoor plants are starting to sprout, there's a lot of carrots sprouting, um, the herbs have not sprouted yet, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but, um, you know, whatever, um, and we have a few spinach sprouts and some kale sprouts, so that's, that's cool. One of the, so apparently a kale seed snuck into the spinach container. So we have a kale sprout coming up in the spinach container, um, which is whatever. <laughs> um, and I think tonight is going to be the night of the first tomato harvest, which will be like four or five tomatoes, four or five cherry tomatoes. But um, that'll be good. Um, yeah. So I hope you're all doing well and having a good week um I'm thinking of everyone I know that people are having a rough time and you know I'm sending out lots of good thoughts and energy and and all of that to everyone um so yeah um so that's it from me I'll talk to you again soon